Hello everyone, this is Frank. In this video tutorial series, I will be demonstrating how to achieve better playback from Sibelius using virtual instruments, audio plugins, DAW programs like Cubase and Logic, and a networkable plugin host program called Vienna Ensemble Pro 6. This video series will specifically be geared towards arrangers of the marching arts, and I will specifically be using virtual instruments from Virtual Drumline and the Vienna Symphonic Library. But many of the principles that I will be discussing can be used with any virtual instrument library. In this specific video, I will demonstrate the difference in audio quality from Sibelius using the stock Sibelius sound library and virtual drumline versus using virtual instruments from the Vienna Symphonic Library and virtual drumline loaded into Vienna Ensemble Pro 6. I will be using a small portion of a marching band show I wrote a while ago to demonstrate this. Before I get to this though, I want to give a brief description of what Vienna Ensemble Pro 6 is for those that may not be familiar with this program. Basically, Vienna Ensemble Pro 6 is a networkable plugin host program. You can load this program into multiple, multiple computers that are hardwired in the same network and split the virtual instrument load amongst the different computers that are networked together. For example, you can have woodwinds loaded on one computer, brass on another, percussion on another, etc. These will all be synced through Vienna Ensemble for playback from your master computer. Um, in addition to this, Vienna Ensemble also acts as a virtual mixer where you can do panning, apply pl audio plugins, and create subgroups, aux channels, and just about anything else that a mixer can do. While I don't use the networking capabilities of Vienna Ensemble, I do use the virtual mixer capabilities of the program, which is what produces the higher quality audio playback. I've placed a link to the Vienna Ensemble Pro website if you're interested in more information about that program. Now for the audio demonstration. While you should be able to hear a difference on laptop or phone speakers, it will be more distinct using high quality speakers or headphones. First, we will hear playback from the stock Sibelius wind sounds and virtual drumline loaded directly in Sibelius. Okay. Here we go. So that was the stock uh, Sibelius sound library and virtual drum line working together, which I believe is the most common setup that a lot of people have. Um, it sounds fine. You can get the idea, but you know, it's not very well balanced. Everything's dry. There's no reverb. Um, in particular for me, the, all, the saxophones don't sound very good. Woodwinds aren't very well balanced. Um, so let me show you what we can achieve um, with Vienna Ensemble Pro. So here's the program loading up. All right. Uh, let me load this up, change the playback settings. So here you'll see all the virtual instruments start loading um, in Vienna Ensemble Pro. So we'll just give it a second. All right, um, I see and Sibelius loaded up right behind it. Uh, before we get into this, just kind of want to give you a quick overview, just what this can do. So you have all my woodwinds here, you know, in one folder, just like in a DAW. In this particular setup, I have an alto voice solo because this show originally required a, uh, an alto singer. Here I have my brass. Here you'll see I have two different, like I have trumpet, like ensemble trumpet set up. I have solo trumpet, solo horn, but when I have soloist, we can do that. Um, here's all my drumline 
uh, instruments, um, and then front ensemble instruments. Uh, one of the neat things that I can do about this is I have different outputs uh, for uh, the actual uh, mallet instruments and for the cymbals, I have more control over that. Um, if you notice earlier, I have within each section, I have the fader set to different levels so it can be balanced. And then over here, um, I have my reverb set up uh, so it can get different depths of reverb. All right, so it's kind of a brief overview. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like. you enjoyed the demonstration and the difference in sound quality and are looking forward to other videos in this series. In other videos I'll be talking about how to modify the virtual drumline sound set from the right score to work with this setup and how to set up uh, multiple sound sets in Sibelius so that you can use another virtual instrument library for your wind sounds in conjunction with virtual drumline. In addition to this, I'll, I will also make some videos describing how to connect Sibelius to DAW programs like Cubase and Logic so you can have even more control, control over your sound um, and different things you can do to modify your sound. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or contact me through social media. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.